We're going to turn aside for a second and look at the markets this Friday morning. We've got a modest gain pretty much all around. David Barnson joins us. David, vaccine mandates, the back-to-school mess, inflation, terror threat. Wall Street seems to ignore it. Is this continuing rally just about the wall of money flooding the economy? No, it's mostly about the corporate profits. You've just simply had incredible profit growth from the engine of capitalism that drives our, our economy. Uh, all those negatives that you spoke to, some of them are worse than others as market circumstances. But you have to look at these things sometimes, Stuart, as how much better things could be. Sometimes we get surprised that markets are doing well when there's a negative thing and we don't realize maybe things would be even better. So I agree some of those things are market impediments, some maybe not as much. But uh, the reality is that markets and, and the news cycle are never that correlated. I say that on your show a lot because it's really true historically. OK, but those tax hikes that may come down the pike at us, surely that's a dark cloud on the future. Well, it depends what happens. And, and I think what the market has been saying all year is that our divided government is going to protect us. And I agree with the market. I believe there could be some modest and marginal tax increases, none of which I want, all of which I'm against. But the extreme and nonsensical things that President Biden has proposed are not going to happen. The market knows it. And we have James Madison to thank for our system of government. Last one, David, where were you on September 11th, 2001? You know, Stuart, I, uh, my wife Jolene and I celebrated our 20th wedding anniversary a couple days ago, and we were flying to Tahiti for our honeymoon. We landed uh, just an hour after everything had happened. We're calling back home. We're hearing news reports, pandemonium, and it was an incredibly difficult way to start off a honeymoon. I worked in finance. She worked in marketing. Uh, for travel, the travel industry. And I'll tell you, um, we made a decision we were going to do our best to enjoy our honeymoon. But um, we love our country. And uh, I was listening to your segment with Pete a moment ago. I echo everything he said. Uh, I felt it then profoundly. I feel it now. Uh, we won't ever forget. And not just because of how it bookended our, our honeymoon that way, but um, this was an absolutely dark moment in American history, and the only thing that could be darker is for any of us to forget the right. nature of the enemy and for us to ever forget those who sacrificed. It's an incredible day that we look back on tomorrow, and I appreciate you asking me that question. Oh, well said, David. You'll be back, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks,